Here we are, a quick tour of the uh, nearly completed cabin. There's a driveway, the flagpole. Uh, you can see the banks on each side is how high it was before I cut down uh, this whole flat spot here for the cabin. Uh, over here, it's the view we've got. I don't know if you can see it today or not. Sometimes with cameras, the uh, Mount McKinley doesn't come in all that well. See it a little bit, I guess, there. Uh, here we have the uh, wind turbine tower. Uh, underneath the wind turbine is a weather station, and then on that flat plate is an antenna for my uh, Wilson Electronics cell phone uh, signal amplifier for my uh, Wi Fi or Mi Fi box. Uh, if you come around here, on this side we have the uh, solar panels. Today the panels did really well. Uh, probably direct sunlight on them for about two hours and uh, they ran the panels up or the batteries up from 80 percent to 100 those are uh, that's 500 watts of power right there 500 watt panels 24 volts this stuff here is all the oil uh, barrels and stuff for my uh, Toyo oil stove propane bottle which will eventually be plumbed in uh, when I get the uh, little four burner uh, propane stove in. That's the water tank. Currently what I'm doing is uh, hauling water in, five gallon jugs to fill that up and then that goes inside to a uh, 110 volt pressure pump that's kind of like in an RV when you open the valve the pump starts. Eventually though, and I'm hoping here before winter hits, uh, I'll be connecting to that well and have actual real life, don't have to haul it in water. This right here is a uh, Onan 4K generator I bought for 200 bucks. Uh, today I just finished wiring it into my system with the auto start and I'll explain that later. And that's about it. There's the exhaust for the, uh, for the hot water heater. Once again we got the driveway. Here on the porch we got the uh, sofa and the gas grill. Okay, once we get inside here, start here on the left. Uh, down here is the uh, Toyo stove. Very, very efficient. Puts out uh, 22,000 BTU uh, and it consumes on high uh, 0.16 gallons of fuel oil an hour. Sofa. You can see the vaulted ceiling, ceiling fan, the back wall. Now the uh, lower back wall on each end is six inches and the upper ones are two by four, two inches. So that difference I used uh, to mount that little shelf there that goes across for books and stuff. Here we have the uh, flat screen TV. Military awards, computer screen, workstation. Uh, right here is my weather station. Gets the data from the uh, weather unit upstairs on the turbine tower. Living room window. We have the uh, refrigerator, microwave, and the ladder that goes upstairs to the loft where the bed is. Kitchen, some cupboards, paper towel holder. This is the uh, control unit for the power system. We'll go through that later. Sink, and uh, like I said, it's pretty much just like uh, anywhere else, regular running water. Just have to haul it in. Uh, right here, where the garbage can is, is where that little 20-inch uh, four burner uh, range is going. And then here we have the bathroom door. And in here we got a, it's kind of tight, but we got a medicine cabinet, toilet, and shower. Come around over here. This is the uh, battery room door, or utility room door, I guess you could call it. And in here we have the wind turbine controller. 
this is the inverter and that's where the solar panels come in so the power comes in from the uh, from the solar panels or the wind turbine into these batteries these batteries here are uh, six volt batteries it's a 24 volt system each battery is 530 amp hours from the batteries it goes back up into the uh, inverter charger then into the power panel which uh, feeds everything in the house that's the on-demand hot water heater runs on propane it uses about one five pound can every three weeks this right here is kind of interesting this is uh, the auto start that I just set up and we'll hit test on here and what should happen is it'll start the generator and the way that works is uh, on the controller out front above the sink I set uh, what percent I want the, the batteries to get down to like 60 percent and you may not be able to hear that but the generator just started it'll run for a minute and then shut off with the test but anyway with the uh, panel out here um, I set what percentage I want the batteries to get down to say 60 percent and uh, that will start the generator at 60 percent and then whatever I set for uh, for topping the batteries off the generator will stop at like uh, currently I've got it set at 90 percent well, you can see uh, we've got 23.8 volts in the system and we're using 22 amps of power and that's because I've got a whole bunch of lights running and stuff so uh, come back out here and we'll go up in the loft haven't fallen off the ladder yet said it's not really big um, but there's enough space here got a TV dresser and stuff up here and that's another window that looks out over the valley walk around the bed is hinged up at the uh, top the the board that it's on and there's a handle here on the foot that you can lift up on and there's some gas assist springs so that uh, underneath here is storage and once again the rest of the cabin the living area from up here in the loft kind of get a better view of it and this will be home while I'm building the uh, full-size cabin.